It's a story of uh, sexual adventure which goes completely out of control and leads to disaster. You feel like you're in the middle of a dream. The kind of eternal themes of love and death are just so, so present. It's a very searing piece that catches you in its grasp and sort of manipulates you to the end. How did that happen? How did those terrible things happen? Luke Bondy is all about irreverence. It's like tear it down, tear down all the classical, traditional preconceptions and let's just get dirty with it. And you can with Schnitzler, you can get dirty with it. We're very, very lucky at the Young Vic to have twice now um, had Luke working with us. He hasn't done a new production at any other theatre in this country. And his, um, uh, the only other place that he's done a new show, to the best of my knowledge, is the Royal Opera House some years ago. So it's a, it's a real privilege to be working with him. The first thing I always think of is the fact that he's Swiss. Everything's smooth. Everything has been thought through. Everything is beautifully crafted. Everything is clear. There is no uh, excess. He doesn't waste time. He doesn't decorate and he doesn't impose himself and his own views on a text. He's very much, I think, the sort of director who likes to open up a space and then let the actors get on with it in their own way. He's got a, a very musical sort of ear for the language and the feel of the shape of the scene. His eye for, for detail, that must be something about him that he does in whatever milieu he's, he's working in. And, this one, it just seems to suit it perfectly. He's clearly a world artist, and we need to, to have more directors like that working in this country. Um, and we have great directors who, who practice and, and have grown up in, in Britain. Um, but we need the kind of challenge and stimulation that, that directors who don't very often work in this country bring. Schnitzler is a very important writer. There's a greater level of complexity with Schnitzler that makes us not only be amused and charmed by what he shows us, but also to identify with these people and to really see some substance in them, something that's disturbing as well as charming, something with which we can identify. Schnitzler is known to have said that there is a difference between being serious and being humorless. What Schnitzler did was write about the dark side of the personality, of human desires, um, and expressing in a very, very specific way the contradictoriness of our lives. There is a lot of superficial lightheartedness social frippery, flirtation, fun, but there's a sinister undertone to all of that and quite a tragic undertone as it transpires. I think David Harrow has done a great job as well in making it very modern and then taking away some of the archaic language that is in there and giving it a real edge that, that brings it to the <coughs> here and now without undermining the, the fundamental aspects of the play, such as the honour and how much honour meant, because I think today honour means less than it did in those days.